People deluded, YouTube's Lucas Torreira, N'Golo Kante, Lionel Messi, all of them things there. But um, you guys know I love young players and I'm here to speak about two middles for centre halves. Now, before I get into it, one's 16 and one's 21, two different, um, well, they're very, both very young and they're both still making their hallmark within the game, even in Middlesbrough's first team um, or, or just being... A, a, um, a, a Middlesbrough fan favourite. They're both nowhere near that at the moment in time, but they're going. They're, they're on the. They're on the right. They're on the right path and things like that. Um, so yeah. Um, what was I going to say now? Dale Fry and Nathan Wood. Now they come from a, a very good academy in Middlesbrough. They've got uh, many players have come through Middlesbrough. They've got a good crop. Probably the pick for me would have been Harry Chapman. I remember seeing him in the youth league a couple of years ago for Middlesbrough. I know he's gone on loan to Blackburn. A couple others that haven't worked out, but. Um, not too sure how he's getting on, admittedly, at the moment in time, but we'll see in it. But back to Nathan Wood and Dale Fry. Nathan Wood, 16 years of age. I've got a lot of time for him. I've got a lot of time for anybody that's it, currently in England under 17 international because every time I, like, I know about half them players anyways, but every time I see a young player that's 16, 17 and he's in that side, I'm thinking, wow, what is in the water in all of these clubs now? Because there's some real, real... Like um, A.D. Boothroyd said, there's actually, I actually believe it. There's never been a better time to be an England player or even an England fan. Because while we can't say we're going to win World Cup and stuff, from under 17 to, I'd say, particularly for me anyways, under 20, there's some great players. There's some quality ones in the under 21s and clearly in the full team with Sanjo and them man there. But them man there, the 17s to 20-year-olds, for me, especially the 17 ones, they got some potential, and he's one of them. He's got decent height, probably gets caught flat-footed a lot, but he's decent on the ball. He's a committed tackler. He's decent in the air. Um, he's a good. He's, he's got good athletic abilities. He's got decent pace. He's fairly strong. I mean, he's the son of a former footballer who used to play for Crystal Palace, I believe. Gordon, a bit before, clearly before my time. Um, so yeah, he's a good player, and he's made his debut, I believe, for for Middlesbrough. He's not in the lineup like that or anything like that, so he still needs to improve and things like that. But maybe a club goes for him because, yeah, like this is how it goes. And he looks like one that could eventually play Premier League level. I'm not here to say he can be this, he can be the next Tony Adams and Cannavaro mixed together with a hint of Puyo. I'm not here to do that, but he looks like a good player. And Del Fry, now, arguably, well, clearly you know more currently about Del Fry than you would Nathan Wood because he's a bit ahead. Um, He's had a tough time trying to make it into the first team at, at Middlesbrough, but this season it seems to be happening for the lad. He went to Rotherham, it didn't work well, out, work out well for him, to be honest with you. But what I like about him, and I can't understand how he's not in the Premier League, like when I look at clubs like Burnley and Brighton, how have you not taken a chance on him, or even bigger, because he's 21 years of age. He doesn't look like much physically, but he can hold his own. He's got, he, he knows how to intercept, he can block well, put his body on the line. Probably in the modern day centre half, all of that Salali irrelevant now as being a defender. The things that modern day fans would love is he loves to play out from the back, similar to John Stones. He really likes to play out from the back. If you see him any time for England's under 21s, he's doing exactly that. He can bring it out from the back. He's got a decent passing range. Like I said, he's not afraid to gallop forward with it and try and be like Rio Ferdinand. He's not afraid. He can play in two at the, he can play with a partner at centre half. He's played in a three at the back formation before. He's a good reader of the game, in my opinion. That doesn't mean he's perfect. If you go and look at, I don't know if it was this season or last season, but the playing out from the back, you need to have balance and be concentrated. He made a horrendous mistake against Norwich, and I'm pretty sure there's a couple others. But he is a good, he is a good player. And again, I'm not too sure about now, but last time I looked, Middlesbrough were unbeaten at a point in the in in the Championship, and he was playing, and he obviously played a part in that. He weren't alone, but yeah, similar to Woods, his positioning could improve and. He could be a, he could find better balance when to ball play and when to not um and things like that and probably just fine tune his positioning but um yeah how he's not in a, in the Premier League at some capacity I'm not too sure yet because he's 21 years of age and he's only going to improve he made his debut for Borough at 17 so he's not a newcomer to this team um he's obviously under on under 17s I believe 2014 European Championship winner with England so the pedigree is there I believe both of them could be good players well if I was Middlesbrough fan I'd hope for you lot but such is the current trend in football Fryer could be sold in a season or two would still got time to develop and things like that hopefully they both go on to become full Premier League Championship level good level players in my opinion well you know what I mean anyways but yeah credit to Borough for producing these players man and I've always thought how Del Fry even despite his lack of appearances, generally speaking, excluding this year for Borough, hasn't made the move up. 
because yeah, there's definitely worse centre halves than him in the Premier League. But for now, anyways, guys, DG, I'm out, man. Thank you for watching.